Hi guys, it's Rune, the math person. Before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you don't want to be bombarded with all these new videos, make sure you turn off that notification. Other than that, let's just dive right into this question. In this video, I'll be going over question 94 on SO exam P, so pause the video real quick and try this problem yourself. Okay, assuming you're tempted, let's just dive right in. So I'm first going to um, draw the range of the function t1, t2. So this exists on 0 to 6, right? And this, technically, if I said this one to be equal to t1, and this is equal to t2, they're saying t2 is less than 10 minus t1. So it's going to be this line from 10 to 10. Ooh, that was a pretty straight line. I'm pretty impressed. And it's all, but then t1 and t2 are both enclosed within 6. So let's say this is like 6, right? Then if t1 is 6, then t2 must be 10 minus 6, which is equal to 4. So then this point right here must be 4. And likewise, it's also capped at the top at 6. So then this point right here must be 4. And it's enclosed within that 6 to 6 and this line. So it's going to be essentially we're looking at this area right here. Right? And we know for the probability distribution function of f t1, t2, if they're constant, to be equal to the 1 over the area, right? So then what is the area of this? From here to here, it's just a square with a base two, 4 and a height 6. From here to here, I, actually this little box right here is also a square. So that's a square with a base 2 and a height 4. And lastly, this right here is a triangle with base 2, height 2, but divide by 2, right, because it's a triangle. So then you basically get 24 plus 8 plus 2, which is equal to 34. So then f of t1, t2 must be equal to 1 over 34. Alright, alright, moving on, I'm actually going to erase my little line here. Or we also know that the expected value of t1 plus t2 it's symmetric. It's symmetric, as in it, I can switch the um, range here, and it's going to be the exact same. I can change the range here, and it's going to be exactly the same. So, and it's also uniform on this interval here, and this is independent. So then we can say that this is also equal to the expected value of t1 plus the expected value of t2. So then we know that expected value of t1 is quite easy now because we know for any value, this is equal to t1 times the probability function of t1 t2 so then this we just have to figure out what the ranges are so i'm actually going to integrate in respect to dt2 first so going this way but notice the dt2 for this one is different from the range for this one as in for the blue the first blue line i drew the dt2 is um going from 0 to 6 and uh, t1 is going from 0 to 4 dt2, dt1, but from 4 to 6 for dt1, the range is actually going from this 0, right, to the upper limit is this line, where this line is, we wrote it before, t2 is equal to 10 minus t1. So if we're integrating d2, dt1, this is the line we want, 10 minus t1. And the function is given right here, so that's t times 1 over 34. Oh, this is t1, by the way. So integrating the sucker out, because 1 over 34 t1 is just a constant, I'm, I can do it at a t2. Integrating t2 from 0 to 6, so you get 1 over 34 t1. Plugging in the upper limit, you get 6. The lower limit just gives you 0. Integrating this in respect to dt1, going from 0 to 4. So then this just becomes 6 over 34 which is 3 over 17, integrating just basically just t1 then. t1 integrating by itself is t1 squared, 1 half, going from 0 to 4. The lower limit just gives you 0, so then just plugging in the upper limit, you get 3 over 17. 4, right? Oh, 4 squared is 16 over 2, that's 8. So then this is equal to 24 over 17. Likewise, on this side, when I take the integral, you're going to still get 1 over 34, t1, t2, but then the range here is going to be going from 0 to 10 minus t1 for t2. So plugging that in, you get 1 over 34, t1, 10 minus t1 minus 0, this is 0. So then you're left with 1 over 34, t, oh, 10 over t1 
minus 1 over 34 t1 squared. <laughs> All right, integrating dt1, you get t1 squared. Dividing by 2 here, you get 5 over 34 minus t1 cubed. 34 times 3, that's going to be equal to 102. You're getting the sucker out from 4 to 6. So plugging in the upper limit, you get 36 times 5 divided by 34 minus 6 cubed, which is equal to 216 over 102 minus 4 squared, that's 16. 16 times 5 divided by 34 plus 4 cubed, which is 64 divided by 102. Plugging this into the calculator, you get this is equal to 74 over 51. So the whole expectation of T1 is equal to 24 over 17 plus 74 over 51, which is equal to 146 over 51, or approximately equal to 2.8627. But we know that we're asked to find expected value of T1 plus expected value of T2, which is equal to expected value of T1 plus expected value of T2 where T1 is equal to 2.867, and by symmetry, ET2 is also 2.862, so this is equal to 5.725, which is our answer C. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, as always, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye!